to say I'm in, not impressed, that would be a lie. Uh, I would say incredibly unique. Uh, in my experience with the encampment team so far, I haven't seen anything uh, this extensive, this elaborate. We're just off Fulton Creek uh, in the 34th Street area, just off of a local dog park. We're responding to uh, an illegal encampment that's been uh, set up. They've got solar, solar panels. We recovered uh, four generators, two of which were buried underground to power everything. Uh, there is a creek, uh, like I mentioned, and they have a generator stuck into the ground there to pump water to the, the site for a running sink and a laundry machine as well. So this is the more extensive of the two sites here, if you want to follow me. It's a little bit tight. We got a, a fireplace, obviously chimney up front, out, out the top there. Operational sink, operational laundry machine, bridge, yep. laundry, coffee maker. And then if you wanted to capture the floor, this was all natural earth, uh, but they brought in stone, stone tiles. The flooring is not something I had seen before at one of these uh, encampments. It was all installed, almost marble flooring. This is all connected to their solar panels. Uh, a bit of a chop shop was going on. Yeah, we got uh, welding equipment. Uh, we removed the, the bikes to check the serial numbers and it just kind of goes further back and back. We've come across shotgun shells, uh, knives, machetes, and a couple other uh, firearms located within the encampment here. <clears throat> One of our park rangers uh, had his drone out earlier. It was very difficult to see with the black tarping and obviously the, the leaves and earth that they use to uh, conceal it here. The, the fencing that they've created goes all the way around inside the property, even outside a little bit there. And with how thick they kind of interlocked the, uh, the branches, um, it's, it's actually difficult to see, especially in the middle of summer. Uh, when we, we arrived, we were able to, able to confirm that five people were, were sleeping here. Uh, the one gentleman who did admit to being here the longest did state that he was here since last winter. Honestly, extreme safety concerns. Uh, as you may have seen, you've seen the fireplaces. There is wire strung in and around the whole area inside the houses there. That is definitely not secure. As you can see, there's no nails, there's no there's no rope or anything. One bad gust to win, one uh, bad weather night, and that thing could come down and crush uh, whoever's inside, unfortunately. There's, there's not a lot of uh, access to food, grocery stores, anything like that out here. And I think that just goes to show uh, how widespread uh, that this these encampment issues are are becoming from the the downtown core.